Hey, what's up, guys? It's NGL Brick Shithouse. Uh, you know, I've had the unfortunate event of uh, resetting my phone and losing most of my account. Like, two-thirds of my account was gone, so my boosters are low. My I only have two massive moons. One of them isn't even halfway finished. And so, you know, uh, I'm just trying to look at the bright side here, and I'm uh, learning some things that, uh, you know, are more apparent once you slow things down, because I'm running in slow-mo now. So... Um, with that being said, um, you know, there's there's some things about Massa Moon that you should probably understand. And uh, one of the things I think is most interesting is that, uh, you know, the key to getting the most kills and damage is you have to utilize your time best for the four or six minutes that you have in a match. Um, that means you want to be attacking with your most powerful item, like your sword, uh, instead of your gun. Your sword does significantly more damage. Um, so you want to use that item as much as possible and spend less time running, flying, or attacking with your least powerful weapons. So your gun doesn't do as much damage. I don't want to be using my gun unless I have to. Um, you run about 20% slower on the ground when you are shooting and running. Um, you do not slow down when you're shooting and flying, though. So what can you conclude here? Your blade does significantly more damage per minute than all your guns combined do. So when attacking AI, wait until you're about 35, 40 meters away before you leave the ground. You know, hit your fly button because you run faster, so you want to spend more time on the ground. Once you're in the air, you can now fire sword uh, because you're in the air, so you can start swinging and shooting at the same time. It's nice to slow you down. Um, Drop your fly button as soon as you can. I know that's a tricky... That's another... You know, I don't have enough fingers for that. Um, some guys play... You know, I play the traditional way. I don't really change my keys very much. I still can pull off the fire sword, but it doesn't allow me to get to the fly button as easily for someone that like, keeps the the phone or device flat on the, 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 the table and, you know, presses it with their other fingers. But anyway, I'm just not going to do that. Um, so anyway, drop that fly button as soon as you can because when you drop the fly button your guy will start to sink and you're going to get to the ground faster and that means you can run faster you can get to your next target it's all about getting to your next target before the next guy does you want to spend more time using your blade and your guns you want to spend less time running you want to use less time flying you just got to get to your next target as soon as possible um so once you drop that fly button once again because you're faster on the ground um you know start boogieing towards the next guy. If you are still in the air and you see a red enemy, use your guns until you hit the ground because, again, there's no penalty, speed penalty for shooting when you're in the air. So if you do happen to still be in the air and you can lock on an enemy, blast them until your feet touch the ground and then start running and stop shooting. Um, unless it's like, you know, obviously you can use discretion. If it's a reaper or if it's a chip, you probably don't want to shoot at them until, you know, until you're meleeing them until you're fire sorting them because they're going to pop off and they're going to wreck you and they're going to be in the air and then you get away from them to come back down and that defeats the whole purpose of getting to your enemy faster, right? So don't shoot those bots. But if it's like, I don't remember the name of the bot, the one with the red shield and he's like, uh, you know, a one strike hit usually or the one with the, the over shield, like you can just start touching off on those guys. Um, so... Everything goes out the window, though, when you're competing against a teammate like J-Bear or Killer B or Wily or whatever, because they're super fast. And so I'm not going to make it, you know, and this is important for the smaller counts, but I'm not going to make it to that bot before they do. So if I'm running side by side with one of those guys, I just have to shoot because I want to try and get any points I can because I'm not going to beat them to the melee. I'm not going to beat them to the fire sword. So I might as well get the assist and some of the some of the points instead of none of the points and waste my time, right? So we got to got to try and maximize the time um, that you're doing damage. Like I want to be doing damage the whole time. Any downtime is a wasted time. So use your teleports. You you should have no teleports by the end of the game. Wear them all out. Try to get your targets as fast as possible. Um, you know, and then fighting real people obviously a totally different strategy. Uh, I find like a lot of guys are kind of dumb and they just want to use their sword. They don't even think about the fact that their bot has like guns. <laughs> and so um, even when they do fire sword, they still don't even really think about using their guns separately. So I'll start to go forward a little bit 
and they'll start swinging, but then I back up, and they don't actually make contact with me, and then I'm shoot. I get like three seconds, four seconds of shooting them, so now their health is like a little less. And now if I fight them and we go toe to toe, I'm gonna win that match. I can go heal and then go get my next guy, things like that. But you know, that's obviously a totally different thought process. Uh, but anyway, hopefully my accounts restored soon. But uh, again, looking at the bright side here, you know, I think it's important to realize even if you're a maxed out player. Spend less time in the air. Don't run and shoot unless you have to. You know, get to your your enemies as soon as possible. It's gonna help your scores go up. It's gonna help the clan score more. It's gonna help uh, you die less because you're not gonna be tripping those bots off to shoot you. All that. So go mass a moon. Go mass a mines. You know, uh, and hopefully I'll get my count back and we'll start kicking some more ass to all together. So thanks guys. Thanks for listening.